Let's look at how we can calculate the area under the no normal curve that's between two scores. For example, here we've got two scores, A and B. So it looks like both A and B are above average because they're to the right of the, the mode or the average of the symmetrical bell curve. B is a lot higher than A. So like maybe this was like a test where the average score was, was 80 with a standard deviation of 10. A looks like it might have been 85 and B looks like 95. So the question would, might be what, what percentage of people got between an 85 and a 95? That's what we want to be able to do is calculate this area, which will be the percentage of people between these two scores. What we're going to do is we're going to convert the scores to z-scores. And then we're going to look at the area between the two z-scores, A and B, um, which is going to be, we're going to use the Excel command, normsdist, uh, normal standardized distribution of B. So that's all the area to the right of B. And we're going to subtract that area, all the area that's to the right of A, normsdist of A. So let's see how that will work. We're going to go back to the uh, example that we looked at in a previous uh, video on the girls that eat at Taco King. And uh, so the we've got five girls, Brittany, Lauren, Rochelle, Cree, Paris. How many chips they usually eat when they're at Taco King? And the uh, lady that's worked there for 37 years, that the average person eats about eight and most people eat between 3 and 13. So that means the standard deviation is about 5. And what we did previously is we used this information to convert a z-score. And then we used the z-score. We used the norm s dist uh, equation in Excel to calculate the fraction to the left. So Brittany ate very few chips. So there was only about 5% of the people that ate uh, uh, less than her. Paris ate 22 and it was close to 100%, like 99.7 uh, if we were to increase the number of decimals there. Now our question is what fraction of people eat more than Lorraine? So Lorraine eats three but less than Rochelle. So we want to ask what fraction of people eat from three to eight chips? And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use this equation that we were talking about for the area between two scores. It's a fraction to the left of the high score minus a fraction to the left of the low score. So that'd be norm s dist of the high school minus norm s dist of the low score, which is what we have in this column. So here we're going to have the fraction to the left of Rochelle. And so we look at Rochelle, the fraction to the left is 50%. Then we're going to subtract from that the fraction to the left of Lorraine. There's, she's in the 16th percentile. There's only 16% of people that eat less than her. So it's going to be 0 0.50 minus 0.16 equals 0.34, and that's 34%. So 34% of the people that eat at Taco King eat between 3 and 8 chips.